Young people, put your hands together as we welcome to the podium our candidate for Tobago West, Mr. Shaki Shamfa Ashaki Kajo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Brothers and sisters of Golden Lane, a pleasant good evening to you. Allow me to recognize in our presence the Honorable Orville Delano London, political leader of Tobago Affairs, the People's National Movement, and Chief Secretary of the Tobago House of Assembly. Brothers and sisters, allow me to recognize in our presence also Dr. Denise Sawyerford Angus, Secretary of Community Development and Culture. I want to recognize Mr. Godwin Adams, your area representative. <laughs> Mr. Dean Isaac, Secretary for Housing and Settlements and Labor. Mr. Joel Jack, Secretary of Finance. All other members of the assembly in our presence members of the party's executive, members of the media, all of you who came out this evening to make this evening possible, and last not, not, but not least, the young people, all you, my brothers and sisters of this great people's national movement, a hearty good evening to you. It is indeed a privilege and a pleasure to stand before you this evening as your daughter, your candidate, your voice, seeking representation for the people of Tobago West. I am indeed humbled that you have come out here in your numbers to show your support. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we have waited. We have waited for this time. We prayed. We prayed for elections 2015. We sat in our corners, in our homes over the years, witnessing all the wickedness and all the atrocities of this callous UNC government. We even had to bear witness to our Tobagonian brothers and sisters joining in, joining in arms with them, helping them to carry out their dirty works against the people of Tobago. But brothers and sisters, we stood firm, strong, and resilient as the people of Tobago we are. And we stand here once again, five years later, or should I say three and a half more weeks to go, where are we going to show up? And we're going to show out and we're going to show the people of Tobago and Trinidad just what we are made of. We have had enough. And it is about time for us to change things in Trinidad and Tobago and return this country to the loving, caring hands of the people's national movement. Now, brothers and sisters, over the past couple of weeks, I've seen candidates and up and opponents jump out of the woodwork coming forward to challenge the people's national movement. So far, you have heard no song plan, no song policy, just pure hate for the people's national movement. And if you could cast your mind, your eyes back to 2010, when the People's Partnership was formed, they came together, not because they had unity of purpose, or they had a shared plan, but they came together only because of hate for the people's national movement. And they worked together hand in hand to drive this country down a downward spiral. But we are here once again in 2010 to bring back this country to the loving hands of the people's national movement. Now, brothers and sisters, I've been listening to the radio stations and everything that they have been saying. And I went to my mother's house this morning after exercising, and she greeted me as, Good morning, PNM little girl. Good morning, PNM school girl. And I said, Where'd she get this from? So I tuned into the radio station and I heard our dear friend, Watson Duke, referring to us, Ayanna Webster Roy, my sister candidate, and myself 
as a PNM little school girls that they're too young to go to Trinidad to, to speak in Parliament. He called us PNM little school girls. And as I listened to the argument of, um, of Watson Duke as he masqueraded, because he's doing nothing else but masquerading, I, I listened to what he had to say. Not that I'm giving Watson Duke any forward, but brothers and sisters, that was, th these things are being said by Watson Duke and by the T.O.P. and by the movement forward or forward movement or whatever they call themselves. Some kind of forward, acting backwards. Um, that was said to try to emasculate Ayanna Webster Roy and myself, to try to make us ashamed and to try to make us feel like we're not ready. So they refer to us as little PNM schoolgirls. But as I thought about it, I said, you know what? You know what's in Duke is right? I'm a PNM schoolgirl, and I'll tell you why. When I got out of school in 1998, and I wanted to pursue studies, my tertiary level studies, there was no gate. There was no facility to send people to school to pursue their university degrees. It is based on the policies of the People's National Movement that people like myself and so many of you other young people could have gone on to UE and gone on to different colleges and universities to pursue your tertiary education. I can remember before the People's National Movement came into power in Tobago, only certain people and certain families got to send their children out there to study. But today, everybody knows somebody's sister, somebody cousin, somebody girlfriend, somebody friend who is out there studying, furthering their education, and getting ready to come back here, or even back here already contributing to the development of Tobago and this entire nation that is based on the policy of the People's National Movement. So today, I stand as a proud PNM school girl because if it wasn't for the PNM, many of us would have no tertiary education. So I stand here, proud. PNM school girl. And my advice to Watson Duke is if you had spent some time being a PNM school boy, you would talk more sense and with more reasoning and with more intelligence when you get on the people radio station at the end of the day. So PNM school boys and PNM school girls stand proudly because all that we have today, most of what we have today, our intelligence, our education, some of us open up our own businesses, sending us people to school. Some of us could purchase lands and we have a greater standard and higher standard of living here in Tobago because of people's national movement policy, because of great leadership based on the people's national movement and because we have invested our time in our people and in our young people as the people's national movement. So my story is an ideal socks to stocking story. My story is the ideal butter sneakers to nine west high heel shoes story. My story is the ideal John Sport book bag to Michael Kors handbag story. My story is an ideal PNM schoolgirl story. So I stand here proud, just like all of you, as a PNM schoolgirl. And what they did not do, Ayana Webster Roy and Shamfa Kojo, PNM schoolgirls would go to Trinidad and we would show them true representation. We would bring internal self government to Tobago along with our other friends in the People's National Movement. All that they didn't do, Ayana Websteroy and Shamfa Kojo, proud PNM schoolgirls, we are going to do. And all of you who stand on the sidelines, criticizing the PNM, it's not late for you to be a PNM schoolboy or girl too. Brothers and sisters, the People's National Movement is about opportunities to all. It's not just about gate. We could talk about CCC. We could talk about YTEP. We could talk about YAPA. We could talk about MUST. We can talk about all these training opportunities for young people. And if you did not study or pursue some post-secondary education, it is because you didn't want to. 
who made that possible? The People's National Movement. In 1998, when I got out of school, the other young people like me who wanted to set up a business, there was no BDU. There was no business development unit. There was no business grant. There was no venture capital. There were none of these opportunities so that people could hone their entrepreneurial spirit. Today, we can boast of these things in Trinidad and Tobago, and that is based on the people's national movement. So we stand here proud, and we stand here confident as PNM people, because we know our worth. And that is why we could say great is the PNM. They are not happy when we say great is the PNM, but we have all reasons to say so, because from our very inception to this very day and in days to come, we have always been about the development of our people and the advancement of our nation. So don't feel ashamed. Don't let anybody cry you down. We stand as PNM people, educated people of Tobago based on the policies of the People's National Movement. So what they didn't do in Trinidad, all the five years that they spent there under Kamala's arm, close up up in Kamala's bosom, Shamfa Kojo and Ayanna Webster Roy would do. Brothers and sisters, and some of these issues include internal self-government for the people of Tobago. This is official People's National Movement policy and it instructs all the administrations of the People's National Movement. So PNM today, PNM tomorrow has a duty, a responsibility to treat internal self-government for the people of Tobago as a matter of priority to be dealt with with urgency. Uh, brothers and sisters, this airport expansion situation that has been in the public domain for over the past five years, Ayana Webster Roy and Shamfa Kojo would resolve this matter so that the Crown Point International Airport would be one that we can have upgraded facilities and we can have international flights coming in and out and you don't have to line up on the pavement and be dragging your bags through the road to get on your flights. Brothers and sisters, I'm talking to you about what Ayana Webster Roy and Sham Fakojo would do. The Sea Bridge, management, proper management of the Port Authority, so that the boats wouldn't go on dry dock when, during Easter time, that the boats wouldn't be placed on dry dock during Great Fed weekend time. Brothers and sisters, I'm talking to you about inter island transportation. How many of you have sat on the airport down in Crown Point, and even in Trinidad, waiting hours upon hours? Hours for Caribbean Airlines to get itself together. And at some times, you would pass a certain member of parliament getting on the airport with her little handbag and her little suitcase using national security helicopter to go back and forth while we, the people of Tobago, wait. These are the matters that our representatives are supposed to treat with. But they had abdicated their responsibility, hugged up hand in hand, sleeping in bed with the UNC forgetting us the people of Tobago and you have the temerity to come back to ask me for another chance for five more years you must think the people of Tobago are fools brothers and sisters some of the issues we want to treat with are relating to housing as we walk the communities district after district young people are complaining about access to housing. And one young woman said to me in Bethel last week, but Munilal handing out houses, 100 houses per week. Why we can't do that in Tobago? Of course, we cannot do that in Tobago because we do not have access to funding like central government does. Whatever subvention is granted to the Tobago House of Assembly for housing, and I think last year it was only 28 million, how many houses could you really build with 28 million while Trinidad benefits from hundreds of millions of government subvention, grants from the IDB, and all kinds of different funds that they do not share with Tobago? And when the Tobago House of Assembly asks for the ability to use public-private partnership, they're quick to take us to court and to say no. How could we give out 100 houses per week just like Munilal? And might, might you remember that Munilal never built one of those houses. These houses came because of people's national movement policy. 
but Ayana Webster Roy and Shamfa Kojo would work hand in hand with Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley, the next Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, and our cabinet colleagues to ensure that Tobago is granted the necessary funding and the necessary funding opportunities to give housing, proper housing to the people of Tobago, to build up a housing stock, and also to provide more work for people of our construction industry. Such is the policy of the People's National Movement. Ladies and gentlemen, let me talk to you about border protection, because our fishermen are crying out. They feel unsafe. The People's National Movement government comes September 2015. We are going to work together to ensure that there is proper border protection so that the fishermen could feel safe and the people of Tobago could feel safe. We are going to work towards a proper crime plan specific to the needs of Tobago, specific to the different needs of our tourism industry in Tobago also, specific to the needs of our community, for community policing for our residents of Tobago. Let's talk about Grange Police Station. Prior to 2010, the People's National Movement government would have issued contracts for the building of Grange Police Station and the Roxborough Police Station. And this government, this UNC government, came into power in 2010 and they pulled back all these contracts. I remember going to Parliament and doing my duty. Yes, this little PM school girl. I posted questions to Minister John Sandy. Mr. Sandy, when is construction on Grange Police Station going to start? And construction on Ro Roxborough Police Station. And Mr. Sandy said to me, Mr. John Sandy said to me, soon, Senator Kojo, very soon in his baritone. That was 2010, 2011. We've seen at least four national security ministers after. Where? When? No building has started for Grange Police Station. Nothing for Roxborough Police Station. How soon is soon? Five years later, you come back asking for my permission? Asking to, for my vote once again? No, not this time, Kamala, not this time. Let's talk about supporting services for people who are opening up their businesses. Today, five years later, after Delmon Baker and Vanilla Allen Toppin told you they would go to Trinidad and there would be no dumb dogs in Jerusalem, five years later, people of Tobago who are setting up their own business still have to go to Trinidad to complete much of the process. You have to go to standards in Trinidad. If you're dealing with intellectual property, you still have to go to Trinidad to do some of these things that they promised us they would have set up offices in Tobago. Let's talk about customs, customs and port operations for the people who are trying to move their goods between Trinidad and Tobago. These are all matters that your Ministry of Tobago Development, these are matters on the central government that Vanilla Allen Toppin and Delmon Baker and even Kristen Moore, all those in the Ministry of Tobago Development, these are the issues with which they were supposed to treat. Improvements of infrastructure. Brothers and sisters, Tobagonians want to say thank you, Wasa, too. We look on the TV and we see in all these commercials, people in Trinidad saying, I do not have water. I do not have water infrastructure. But now we have it now. Thank you, Wasa. But today, five years later, even earlier in June, we witnessed Hotel, uh, hotel operators in the Crown Point area had to close down their operations and had to reimburse visitors because the hotels did not have water for a good two, three days. This is 2015, brothers and sisters. We remember your promises and we know what you are responsible for. So to sit this afternoon in my car and hear... Ansem Richards and his good friend, Mr. Solomon, on the radio saying that even though water infrastructure and the provision of water services, water utilities to Tobago is under the remit of central government, that the chief secretary should have taken some money from his contingency fund and developed that infrastructure. Can you believe that? 
I sit in, sat in my car this afternoon and listened to them say, yes, we know buses is our responsibility. And as you know, brothers and sisters, we need at least 30 buses for effective uh, transportation, in public transportation in Tobago. And we only have about 12 running right now. And Ansem Richards of the Movement Tobago, or whatever they call it. What would you call it? Oh, even Movement Tobago have a better reputation than them. They're not even in the politics. Tobago forwards, they call themselves, saying that Mr. Orville London, he is the head of Tobago House of Assembly. And even though public transportation and PTSC falls under central government, he should have purchased some buses and leased it to PTSC. Brothers and sisters, you ever hear any more foolishness in all your life? Dumb dogs in Jerusalem. So they have wasted five years and have the audacity to ask for five more years. To do what? Waste five more years? Brothers and sisters of Golden Lane, can you believe this? They are coming to you and say, we have not done our jobs. We have abdicated our responsibility and have the nerve to ask you for five more years. Five more years to not mind Tobago people's business. Five more years to stand up in the parliament telling lies about Tobago people and embarrassing us. Brothers and sisters, they have spent five years, if you could remember, encroaching on the, the Tobago House of Assembly's territory. They didn't do their own jobs. They didn't mind their own business. They duplicated the Tobago House of Assembly, setting up units to compete with the Tobago House of Assembly. So you did not take care of your household, did not take care of your responsibility, and come into me to compete with me? And you want five more years? No. No way. No, Kamala. Brothers and sisters, what they did not do in their five years, Ayana Webster Roy and Shamfa Kojo would do. When the assembly was underfunded, why didn't they take it to their radio station and say something? Not a word from Vanilla, not a word from Delman, not a word from Anselm Richards, not a word from Kristen Moore, and Mr. Solomon himself was a dumb dog in Jerusalem also. Five years later, could you remember the chief secretary writing over and over, trying to get the ears of the prime minister? I remember them laughing and calling the chief secretary a crybaby. Five years later, and you want another chance from the people of Tobago? We remember you. We remember your atrocities and your misdeeds. We have not forgotten, and we would not forgive you. So you have treated us with neglect, and you want five more years. And in usual Kamala style, we are not surprised. In usual UNC style, at the very late end, they now take it to the radio, killing us with PR. Over and over in the morning, you hear Watson Duke, another one of Kamala minions. In the afternoon, you hear Tobago Forward, another one of Kamala minions, trying to tell you to vote for them. No, brothers and sisters. This time, this time, we vote in the PNM. By now, we know. By now, you try to tell us that we misunderstood and you misspoke. But we know by now that we have made a mistake because you mistreated us. You misled us. You mishandled us. We misvoted, but not again, brothers and sisters. This time, we're going with the PNM. And what all of them didn't do? From Delmon Baker in the lower house, Vanilla Allen Tuppen in the lower house. And let's look at the upper house because they came in the upper house one after the other. Ten on, ten off. Five on, five off. At first, you had Embahu Mohini, Tobago member of the UNC. Then you had Chris Lynn Moore, Tobago member of the UNC. Then you had Terence Baines. Tobago member of the UNC, even Shelly and Rolox Hackett came in to get a little piece of the action. So you trying to tell me, after five years, five different representatives going down there claiming to fight on behalf of Tobago and absolutely nothing to show for it? 
they fed at the UNC trough for their political expediency and their personal gain. And five years later, they're trying to convince us to vote for them again. No way. Not again. Because we are smarter than that. We have seen all your tricks. We have watched for five years as you divided our people. We have witnessed for five years as you raped the treasury. We watched for five years as you neglected Tobago. And we watched for five years as you were yes men and yes women for Kamala and the UNC. So you could change your name. You could change your color. You could play independent. We all know who is your leader. And again and again Tobago would continue to say no way to Kamala. No way to Kamala. Because at the end of the day, we know it's only two parties. Only two parties in the competition. And that is the UNC and the People's National Movement. So when the blue come to you, ask them, who sent you? Who are you supporting for Prime Minister? When the TOP come knocking at you, do ask them, you still with the UNC? Who are you supporting for Prime Minister? Who sent you? That's the question we need to ask them. You see, brothers and sisters, they vex with us when we say great is the PNM, but we have all reasons to call ourselves great because here we stand, 59 years later, same party, same color, same logo. 59 years later, we present to you candidates of integrity like we have done time and time again and a visionary leader. That is the legacy of the People's National Movement. We stand strong. We stand resilient. We stand consistent. We make the hard decision. And we are all about the development of our people and the advancement of this nation. Brothers and sisters, if this country, Trinidad and Tobago, ever needed a People's National Movement, that time is now. If this country ever needed people of integrity to lead us, that time is now. If your country ever needed your participation, your support, your vote, that time is now. Brothers and sisters, a great country deserves a great party. Again, I say a great country deserves a great party. Brothers and sisters, right-thinking people deserve decent leadership. Brothers and sisters, a great country deserves a great party. And we know nobody could stand in the PNM shoes. Time and time again, we have proven to be second to none because we are about the lifting up of our people and our country. Brothers and sisters, there's no half stepping in the PNM. When we come to you, we come to you correctly, giving you, giving you our all. Investing in our people, investing in our resources to bring out the very best of Trinidad and Tobago. So brothers and sisters, I call on you to respond to this clarion call. This is your duty. This is your responsibility to bring back your country to the loving arms of the People's National Movement. You are not, we are not being asked to take a chance because you are sure about the PNM who we are, what we stand for, and how we deliver. Brothers and sisters, on September 7th, I call on you to come out in your numbers. Bring out your friends. Bring out your neighbors. Vote for Ayana Webster Roy in the east. Vote for Shamfa Ashaki Kojo in the west. And take back your country. One constituency at a time. One vote at a time. So at the end of the day, when all is said and done, we could join hands together and sing. Great is the PNM. Great is the PNM. Great is the PNM. And we shall prevail. I thank you.